everyone's favorite time of year, fall, and that means community top 10 fall coming up. Hey Fragrance Family, I'm Dave and I'm a Fragrance Bro, of course your best source for everything fragrance related. Today I have a video that is a community top 10 on fall favorites. Now if you're not familiar with what a community top 10 is, I have a newsletter, you can go and subscribe down below. I send an email link to a secret video and they go and they vote on uh, community top 10s that they suggest. And if you'd like to be part of a community top 10, all you have to do is just sign up for the newsletter. Oh and of course, this shirt, Taylor Stitch. All right, now before we get to the community top 10, I'd like to go over just a few that I am really looking forward to the fall. Uh, first on the list being Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. Fantastic, woody, vanilla scent, one of the best out there. I mention this almost every year, especially for fall. It's one of my favorites from Imaginary Authors. Amazing. Another one that I always mention is Sova by Slumber House. And this one is a really different scent. And this one was discontinued and kind of vaulted and they just re-released their new fall line. And Sova is on that line so you can get Sova as well. I believe the bottles changed a little bit too, but definitely check out Sova, one of my all-time favorite scents, amazing. Also with Slumber House, Bach. And this one is somewhat similar to Sova in that it has that kind of dry, woody, balsamic thing going on, but there's some other things in there, like a semi-sweet note. It's less weird, I think it's more wearable, and it has almost like what I get as kind of a chocolate liqueur type of thing. A very sweet or semi-sweet chocolate in there. That's not in the note list, but that's just what I get out of it and I love it. Now new this year to me is Restretto Intense Cafe by Montal and I absolutely love this. Now of course this is more intense than uh, Intense Cafe. <laughs> this is an extra de parfum. I didn't think that it made that much of a difference, but when I wore it, uh, recently, my wife kept telling me how strong it was and I only had like one or two sprays on. So apparently it's beast mode in a bottle. And what I also love about this is that it has a much better coffee note in this. It smells like freshly roasted coffee. Like if you go to a coffee shop and you smell the coffee beans being roasted, it has that type of smell, which is amazing. And of course, it has a little doodad on there. <laughs> Another two that I'm really looking forward to this fall is Corrigan by Luban and Idole de Luban by Luban. And uh, Corrigan is a really wonderful, woody, caramel, semi-sweet type of scent. I have a review on it, one of my favorite reviews I've ever done. Very unisex, I think, but I really, really love that. Idole de Luban is a wonderful, boozy fragrance matched with uh, an ebony accord. It smells really luxurious, one of the most luxurious scents I think that I own, and it's phenomenal uh, for the fall and the winter. So really love this a lot. All right, now let's get to the community choices here. First up is Donnie Light who suggested Cher Guy, and I love Cher Guy. Cher Guy is a fantastic fragrance by Serge Luton. It's definitely in the fall range, wonderful hay, uh, sweet tobacco type of thing going on. Uh, really, really great. So it deserves the hype for fall, definitely. Next is Nikita. Thank you for letting me know how to pronounce your name there. And uh, they suggested uh, Zerzhov Nak which is a phenomenal scent. It smells very similar to Pure Havan by uh, Thierry Mugler. I think it's more of an upgraded type of scent than Pure Havan, but it's very similar in that same range, which I think is phenomenal for the fall. Tobacco, uh, sweet, fruity type of note in there with honey. It's awesome. So yeah, great choice, Nikita. Michael C. suggested Royal Oud, and yes, Royal Oud, definitely. I almost added that to my list, but Royal Oud, phenomenal fragrance, uh, which has oud, yes, but it's not overly oudy. It's just the perfect amount that adds kind of just some body to uh, an oud type of scent. And it's very musky, much like a lot of Creed scents are, but there's um, almost like a, almost like a pipe tobacco type of smell, to me anyway, um, though that's not listed in the notes. There's pink pepper in there, there's some woody notes in there. It's just a phenomenal scent overall. So yeah, great choice, Michael. Leo Guzman says, T for two, yes. T for two by Lardizan is a phenomenal scent. Probably my favorite tea scent of all time. I love, love, love to wear that when uh, it hits just the right temperature in the fall and it's just a relaxing scent that is perfect. Some people get like an ashtray because it's kind of a smoked type of tea. I think the smoke is way in the background and just adds just a little bit of texture to the tea that I think is perfect. So yeah, great choice there. 
Ed Market suggested Fendi Uomo. Said it was a vintage version, the, ver the vertical window, he says. I'm guessing that's the bottle. And he says it's spicy and woody. That's one that I haven't tried yet, so I don't really have anything to add about that one. But if it's spicy and woody, that's definitely in my wheelhouse. I will definitely check that out if I can. Sounds wonderful, just spicy and woody. That's That has me right there. <laughs> Andrew Zamerla suggests Hermes Bellamy Vetiver, and man, boy is he right. That is an incredible scent from Hermes. One of the most underrated scents in the Hermes line, I think. It's a very rich type of scent that has some leathery notes and some kind of uh, woody notes in there and maybe a little bit of sweetness. It's complex, but not really dense. It's very wearable but yet it's still very artistic. I really love Bellamy Vetiver and I want it in my collection because it smells fantastic. The first time I smelled it, it was like, wow, I've got to have that. I just haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> Alex May suggests Bentley for Men Absolute. He says it smells like wet pencil shavings. I think that's hilarious. I've smelled that a while ago. It was about uh, two years ago, I think, and I was a little underwhelmed, but it's not my top 10. <laughs> it's still highly regarded in the community and is often used as a favorite in the fall. So great choice there. Luis Guerra suggests Chanel Allure Ohm. And yeah, definitely. Chanel Allure Ohm is fantastic for the fall. It has a lot of that classic, um, I would say kind of designer-ish type of scent that Chanel kind of popularized. Now Luis gets kind of a melancholy uh, type of feeling from it, and I totally get what you mean there. It does have that type of feeling for me as well. I know that's kind of subjective there, but it does have that kind of somber type of feeling, which I think is perfect for the fall. One of the main notes that it's really popular for is Tonka, and it's kind of a textbook example of the Tonka fragrance. Some fragrances that have Tonka, they don't do it very well, but Chanel Lurome does. Great choice. Pork Eating Infidel suggests New Harlem by Bond Number no. 9, which is a fantastic scent that has like kind of maple syrup, lavender type of feeling. Gourmands are great for the fall and this is one that is just a knockout in the community everyone loves it and i can see why uh, even though it's not my thing everyone loves it so new harlem bond number nine and last on the list evan b suggests the scent intense by hugo boss and that's one that i haven't tried yet but he says it's dynamic bold and long lasting which i think is great so i went back and looked at the notes and some of the notes in there are maninka vanilla and leather i don't have any frame of reference on maninka but the leather and the vanilla definitely have kind of a fall vibe and if it smells anything like the original the scent then i can definitely see it working well for the fall already so great choice with that i'd like to thank my sponsor fragrance x fragrance x is an online retailer that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted price if you're considering buying a fragrance definitely check out fragrance x i'll have a link down below to to them as well as a coupon. So those are all the choices there. Top 10 for fall. Thank you everyone for participating. Everyone who participated in the top 10, even those who didn't appear in this video, were already entered to win this. Creation R Pour Ohm Parfum. It's a 7.5 mil. I think it will really serve you well for the fall. Also too, I'm gonna to throw in a second winner. It's gonna be a decant of Vert Du Bois by Tom Ford. I think this is about 10 or 20 mils. Fantastic scent here, uh, very patchouli heavy. So that one is gonna serve you well. I'll choose a second winner. I'll notify everyone by email. If you'd like to participate in top tens, just sign up for the email. I'll send you an email next time and uh, you'll have your chance. So what are your choices for fall? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're gonna choose for your favorites for the fall. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave at the Fragrance Bros. Bye.